Welcome back to our Break the Cycle Time Management Hour. If there's one place I like to save time, it is in the kitchen, and our next guest is about to show us an easy and healthy recipe that takes just minutes to make. He is a James Beard Award-winning chef and best-selling author. I can't believe he's here. I'm freaking out. It's Rocco Despirito. I'm the one who's freaking out. You gotta let me freak out. How are you? How are you? Nice oh to see God. you. I watched you on TV. Yeah, for I've watched so long. you on TV my whole life. I love food. That's why I sit and stare at food shows and study chefs and have cookbook club and yeah. I'm a big collector. But that has nothing to do with my real life. Gotta go on the move, kids, yeah. work, life, yeah, messiness. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like a place where you can get really short changed is what you're putting into your body with food. Because For if sure. you don't have the time to cook, yeah. you end up grabbing boxed things. That's true. So here's one, one option for you. This is a really simple shrimp dish. It's really healthy. It's only about 350 calories. The normal version would be in the 1800 calorie range. Yeah, and no, it's crazy. That's it's amazing. Out of, it's out of one of my healthy books. So you start with a hot pan. So one of the tips for um, going real fast in the kitchen is high heat. We're always working with high heat at home. Most people are afraid to use high heat because it feels uncomfortable. You know, there's radiant heat in your, on your body. Well, I think also people who fear their time management in the kitchen when they even have the luxury of time, high heat means like if you're not super on it, it's going to burn. And they're right. And so you have to be super on it for at least two to three minutes. So give yourself two to three minutes to be completely active and focused, and you'll produce something that's really good that you'll enjoy for an hour. We've got jumbo shrimp. Notice the tails are taken off completely. That's a pet peeve of mine. I don't know how you feel. Everyone's got their opinion. I don't like to eat those very sharp uh, tails at, at the back. I can tell you this. I'm a really good deveiner. Oh, good. Uh, and you start by having a hot pan, which we have. You put oil in your hot pan. You watch the oil get wavy. Once it starts waving, you know it's hot. So it's already smoking, by the way, which is amazing. So now because of the smoke, we're going to have to go a little fast. Okay. So we're going to season in the pan. And uh, you're going to see that I'm moving a little quickly now. Arturo, because it's sizzling. I want to make sure I grab the heat and don't let the heat escape before I finish cooking these shrimp. Meanwhile, in another pan, we've got broccoli rabe, which is you know, my number one, two, or three favorite vegetable. It's one of the healthiest vegetables on the planet. Now, pepper and salt again on the top while it's in the pan. And you can see that the shrimp's already starting to turn pink and brown. They're turning pink! <laughs> in cooking protein, yes. is the wait to flip it and flip it once rule, does that apply to shrimp as well? It, it can apply to shrimp. So oh, shrimp, right. that are, shrimp that are this big and expensive and uh, have been blotted, dried, and taken care of really well, um, you want to make sure you treat oh, nicely. Oh, wait a so minute. So a lot of proteins. You've got to blot it dry because that's when you cook scallops. We blotted in the beginning. We used paper towels. Why does mine not okay. look as good as yours, Rocco? Um, How did I screw <laughs> up the shrimp? So the shrimp, wanna, the shrimp should come out uh, when they're about halfway cooked. So they should go on this plate. So When they're halfway cooked? They're about halfway cooked. Is it because they're going to keep cooking? cooking, cooking? So just slide them right out like that and put a little more oil in the pan, and we're right. going to make the sauce. We're going to um, use pepper jelly, <gasps> which is <laughs> it's one of my favorite shortcut foods. Pepper jelly goes in the pan. It's going to melt immediately. It's basically a concentration of flavor um, that would normally take hours or at least 20 minutes to create if you're reducing pepper juice and sauteing onions and all that. We're going to add... See how you got the sizzle? The sizzle's really good, by the way. I love a sizzle. <laughs> Ooh, lemon Let's juice? Let's add lemon juice. About how much The whole lemon? thing. The whole thing. That's about, about how much that's lemon? That's about a lemon. That's about a whole lemon. That's a whole lemon. Yes. And now the butter. Oh. And normally, the butter would be a, a, you know, a stick or a This is half very a stick. little. It's a small amount. It's just enough to get the emulsification going. It's a little going. pat of butter. <laughs> so look at how... It's this... gotten nice and thick and it's shiny and it looks like a sauce already. Add a little salt and pepper. Oh, it's taste it, Rocco! maybe. Taste it. I hardly ever looked out at my pan so proud, Rocco. <laughs> you Thank should be you. very proud of what you're getting done right well, there. Well, I'm just your little student. So let's start by plating the broccoli rabe. Okay. We'll leave the shrimp to reduce in the pan and get sticky and gooey and glazy. See, this is why I love a tongue. I know, it's tongs like are fantastic. Lift, they really are you underrated. You go in and you forklift it, it over. Exactly, right onto the plate that's over there, yeah. And then the shrimp should be perfect. So give them a toss. 
It's like trying to lift up a Buick. That's good. You can... <laughs> I'm making this pan work for me. Oh, right that's a now. good idea. Yeah, just toss it out. Exactly. Oh my All gosh. Right, time to taste. Uh, this looks. It looks pretty amazing, right? I, I mean, I'm not just even look looking at it. it up and making nice. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. Mmm. Oh, good. Oh mm. my god. So good. So good. Not even understand. It's like six ingredients, by the way. So good. Oh, my goodness. It's so simple. By the way, tell me about this stunning bread that you sure. have. So we all love to eat bread. You know, I'm a bit of a health nut, so I created a bread that was made out of nuts and seeds, no gluten, it's all organic, it's vegan. Can I you taste can eat it? it. Yeah, yeah, please. You can eat it all you want. Uh, of course, I sell it on my website, shameless plug. Mm. All the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. So you can eat bread without feeling guilty. Beauty shot, Rocco? Beauty shot, all right. Literally, I want to take this. Mm. Mm. I, um, <laughs> sorry, I had to. Um, <laughs> uh, this is so incredible that I really can't even handle it. Rocco, thank you so much. Mm. Be sure to pick up some of Rocco's nut and seed bread. We're gonna have it on the website so you can find his books. That would be nice, A link Thank to you. his site, the bread, everything. Thank you so much, we'll be right back. Thank you, Rocco.